Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. What we got going on? What we got going on? We got the dump trailer hooked up to the new 2020. What are we doing? We are hauling logs, boys. We're hauling logs. I'm doing a pretty good sized log cluttering job right now. We've probably got about 10 cord of a mix of poplar and softwood. A little bit of hardwood mixed in. And I'm just bringing it back here and I'll process it in my yard. So here was the first load yesterday. We got about two cord right here. We're able to haul about two cord on each load. So we're looking at three to four loads today. Try to find room here to dump it off. I really wish I had another mini excavator here on the property where I could pick it off, pile it up nice and neat right along here everywhere. That would be fantastic, but we don't have that right now. We Right now, right now. But it is warm, fellas. Like it is, it is warm. It's like 27 degrees Celsius here right now. We are uh, hooked up, locked and loaded and ready to go. So, Let's get this show on the road because we've got a pretty good day of hauling logs ahead of us. All right, boys, so here we are. I didn't get any before footage. I forgot my camera. But uh, yeah, quite a good sized job here. And then bam, there is the water. When we first started, you couldn't even see the water here. Like you could not even see it. And now, there she is. So I got Dave out right now loading logs on the loading logs on the uh, dump trailer. I've got to cut some stumps up so we can actually fit them in the tandem. We got tandem coming and hauling stumps away. But yeah, there is the water. Absolutely beautiful. So this is day three here. First day was culvert, uh, cutting the trees down clean the piles up uh, day two was you know more grubbing clean stuff off we got a low section here where we'll have to bring some of these rocks in here and then bring fill in to build this up but we can't you can't build fill in too much around trees because you'll basically smother them and then they will eventually die but yeah it's gonna be a very nice spot when it's all said and done people that own it are uh, very conscious of trees they want to save as many trees as they can so it has been a bit tricky to sort of navigate around some of these trees but so far uh, so far so good we got some stuff here to clean up yeah we're gonna be a couple more days here for sure and then uh, we'll be out the last thing we'll be doing is dressing up the driveway towards the end so right now we got the culvert installed here uh, one load of uh, riprap and then one load of surge there right now but at the end we'll have some gravel coming in through here to their access. It's going to be a nice spot when it's all said and done. She's at the end, yeah. Hey right, boys, well I say we gotta load. This is the easy part. Loading and hauling. The hard part is unloading in my yard without taking up too much space. We got 85 pounds in the bags, 80 or 85 pounds. And uh, she is still sitting Perfect right now. Perfect. Let's hit the road. All right, boys, we are off. I just set my trailer gain up to 8.5. See what I have in the bags right now. 85 in the bags right now. Right now it feels good. You can see the load is still back there. All right, so let's go. You know, there's a... Uh, There's certainly at least two cord of wood back there. That's for sure. I mean, she is loaded. She is loaded. So two cord of, uh, it's green wood, obviously. It was just cut. 
So we're looking at uh, around 8,000 pounds back behind the back in the trailer and then the trailer itself is a little over four so we're you know 12,000 pounds behind the truck right now let's say and we'll see how she, she does right now she feels good uh, so I don't have the engine brake on right now so I'm gonna pop that on here in a second so I hauled one load yesterday that the load I hauled yesterday probably wasn't probably wasn't quite as big as this load this probably has another four or five logs on it. So now my engine brake is on. So uh, when I get on the highway, I'll sort of bring you guys back. I'm gonna cancel out 10th gear, just cause I'm, well, I might see how 10th gear does. Cause when I was hauling, uh, you know, like 18, 20,000 pounds there with my gooseneck, I canceled out 10th just cause it's just, it's too much I don't want the truck to lug but I might see how 10th does but chances are I'm gonna cancel it out because in ninth gear I'm still only doing like 1500 rpm when I'm cruising in ninth but you can certainly hear the the engine brake more in these 2020s than you could in the 17s and 19s there's no doubt about that all right we're getting ready to merge on the highway we have a grade to get on here but we want to get up to speed my foot is not to the floor look at this thing go Again, my foot is not to the floor. Climbing a hill. We are now up to speed. Like, man, this, this thing, it just has so much power. All right, I'm setting my cruise at 106 kilometers an hour, which is 67, we'll say 67 miles per hour. 65, we'll just say 65. So here we are right now, we're already up to ninth gear. We're on flat ground. It just went to 10th. So 10th gear, we're just below 1500 RPM. Now we do have a grade coming up. You know, actually I'm gonna reset my trip, see what we get for mileage. So we do have a hill coming up right up there, as you guys can see. So we'll see what it needs to drop to. I'm gonna leave it in 10th and we'll see what it does in 10th. And then after that, depending on how it performs, chance are I'm just gonna put it in ninth. Like lock out tenth and just leave ninth gear as my as my first gear. As you guys can see, I haven't corrected my steering wheel yet. It is still slightly off center. But man, cruising down the highway here right now, this thing feels amazing. 37 inch tires on this, and just driving down the road, tenth gear, hauling. Uh, I would say 12,000 pounds at a minimum. We got 12,000 pounds behind us. Just cruising. Just cruising. So we're coming up to this hill. We'll see, see what takes place here. I know Sam, V Belt and Son, him and his buddy just took out another 2020 of the day and he noticed that the, it's just blowing the rams out of the water right now for power. And yes, he did mention that I took a snapshot that I got 23 miles per gallon. Okay, let's see what it does here. We're losing speed. Straight down to eighth, very smooth shift. And now we have loads of power. Eighth gear is an overdrive gear. Seven, seventh gear is the one to one. So he did mention that I got 23 miles per gallon. So yes, um, last week I was driving from Bridgewater to my house. And it was a decent trip. I think it was like, uh, I think my trip was 40 or 50 some miles. I had to check my photo to, to make sure. But I was doing, you know, between 60 and 70 miles per hour. And uh, yeah, I got 23 miles per gallon in this truck with 20 inch tires. So right there, guys, it just dropped from 10th to 8th and it did its thing. And now we're right back up to 10th again. Very smooth, very seamless, just honestly, when I first towed with this truck, if you guys remember, I found the shift from 10th to 8th was rough. Well, that is not the case anymore. The engine has definitely, I mean, the transmission has definitely corrected itself. The transmission has definitely learned. And now it's, it's, it's honestly day and night over my, uh, over my, my 17 was and my 19. Both those trucks performed very well. My 17 250 for some reason was easier on fuel than my 19 350. And this truck just completely blows my 19 350 out of the water 
for mileage. The 19 does a great job towing. I'm not gonna knock it for that, but it chews through a lot more fuel than what this thing does. Like a lot. It, it's, it's a huge, huge, huge difference. If you're on the road a lot, it doesn't take long to make up some money. I do have the air conditioning cranked because it is extremely warm, but everything feels awesome. Everything feels awesome. So I'm gonna lock out 10th right now, and now we're only using nine gears, but you can see it just jumped from below 1500 to just above, barely above 1500. It just dropped to eighth to slow us down, coming down this grade. And now we've got another pretty good grade here to climb right now. And we'll see what it does. It's already in eighth, still in eighth. So now we're starting to climb the hill. It did go up to ninth. So if I was shifting myself, I would have just left it in eighth because it was already there. And that's, that's where the power is. I mean, seventh is one to one. That's where the power is, but it does a great job in eighth. But here we are in ninth right now pulling a pretty damn good grade and it looks like it's just gonna hold ninth. Yo yeah, no problems whatsoever. Ninth gear, pulling the grade. So if I'm towing on a regular basis, which I do, and I'm controlling it myself, I'm gonna be locking out 10th if I'm towing anything over 10,000 pounds. I'm locking out 10th and I'm sticking with nine. Cause nine, and again, look at the RPM. And it's just chugging along here right now. All right, well we made it to the yard. Now is the hard part. I'm running out of places to put this wood. So I dumped this last year and that's where it still sits. If I would have dumped it over closer to the side, then I could have got another load in between there, which I might have to move some of that over by hand. I'm hoping I can back this load right in between this log and this pile of wood and get rid of that load in here. Or I might have to pile this load, this wood up onto there. And, oh yeah, there's all kinds of work to do. So this is the hard part. The easy part is loading it and getting it here. The hard part is getting it off the truck. Well, that went about as smooth as it possibly could have, to be honest. I had just enough room to get in here. They slid off pretty good. My gate just barely rubbed on the top of this poplar tree on the way out. And there it is. So there's two loads. And I say we have another two loads for sure to come. So I'm probably gonna have to throw this pile up on top of there and move some of this pile over to make room. <laughs> I, I gotta redo some calculations because that looks like it's more than two cord. Boys, we're all loaded up with our second load. I had to get out of the way quick because the tandem was there. We would have put a couple more on this side, but yeah, we got another Another big old load, fellas. So I'm gonna redo some calculations here. So I'm pretty sure we're over two cord, especially on that last load. But you know, here it is again. 85 pounds in the bags, sitting completely perfectly level. Looking freaking good. All right, boys, so I just did some calculations. So if you don't know how many cubic feet a cord of wood is, uh, a cubic foot, I mean, a cord of wood is 128 cubic feet. No matter what way it's piled lengthwise, height, width wise, it equals 128 cubic feet. So my trailer is 14 feet long and seven feet wide. And with the cage sides, I'm five feet deep basically, let's say. So that brings me to 490 cubic feet inside the bed when it's stacked to the top. That equals 3.9. 3.9 cord so hauling two cord especially on that last load that is not the case whatsoever and they were stacked pretty tight so I'm not gonna tell you that I'm hauling four cord but I'm gonna tell you that I'm hauling three cord and and between 3,500 to 4,000 pounds for a cord of wood is what it works out to be so we're actually somewhere with 15 16,000 pounds back there versus 12,000 pounds. So that changes things significantly. So for this truck to do as good as it's doing with 15,000 pounds behind it, again, I know I mention it all the time, but with 37 inch tires on the truck, it, it's, <laughs> it performs fellas, it really does. 
I know people people watching this might go, oh yeah, you know, you're a diehard Ford guy. I'm not a diehard anything. I use what works for me. If it's a Ford, right on. If it's a Ram, wait right on. If it's a Chev, right on. But I highly doubt I would be doing this with a Chev. A Ram, yeah, it would do it. Would it do it as efficient and have as much power? Sorry, Ram guys, not anymore. In the past, of course, the Cummins with the Ison was the way to go. There's no doubt about it. There is no doubt about it. Ford, Power Stroke, um, Chev with the Duramax, they just did not stack up. They just didn't. But that time has come and gone, I'm sorry to tell you. The Power Strokes are extremely reliable. The transmissions have basically zero issues. And now with this new 10-speed, man, it is... I mean, you know, Sam V. Belton son, look at the Rams he has. He has Rams coming out of every body part of his body. His grandmother's got one, his wife's got one, his girlfriend is, you know, his cousin from his from his other cousins. They all got Rams. He's got a ton of them. He drove a Ford and he's pretty damn impressed. I drove a Ram uh, a couple years ago and I was impressed until I drove the 2020. The second I drove the 2020, fellas, it was over. I had to have one. I had to have one. Alright, we made it back with the second load <coughs> for today. Oh my god. Sweating like crazy. I just hand bombed all that wood over here. So I just hand bombed all this wood that was here, that was here, over to here. And now I'm going to try to come in, get my rear tire up on my crossboard here. third load and I think there's probably one more load down there possibly even two so the next load I'll have to move this stuff over to there or vice versa move this stuff over to here and then back the last load in to here so hopefully this load goes as smooth as the first two we've got some longer stuff it's gonna be harder to get my gate open that is for sure but hopefully we can make her happen all right boys well other than this one sticking out, which I'll have to cut off with the saw, uh, you know, that's 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 fine, that's fine. And all this crap that drug out from the trailer, which is still stuck to the bottom in the corner of the trailer over there. But uh, I'd say, you know, not bad. We got some wood, boys. We have got some freaking wood. Wow. <sighs> more work, more work, more work, more work. Well, I think this confirms I got another load after this one, yet. Yeah. Probably not quite a full load, but not gonna get it all on this one, that's for sure. That's a lot of wood. That's a good old scoop on that one. <laughs> got that on camera all right so we got like three or four more stumps to go and then a whole bunch of brush here so I just cut off cut up some stumps and just some loose loose timbers laying around it's because this is really hard to get this in the tandem like this and takes up so much room so we cut pieces off make it easier to work with cut this guy in half so you know we're looking at there's about a, a little over a load here but between between two trucks that load and that load will be gone. And then tomorrow morning, uh, I'm hoping to line up two trucks. Because a couple loads, two to three loads uh, each. So we're looking at four or five tandem loads right here. And this will be gone. And if I got two trucks coming, it just takes up so much less time. And then it exposes this old rock wall that's been here forever. We're going to pluck out as many rocks as we can. Some nice flat ones to put along the beach. Because we're going to run like a 60 foot breakwater in front here clean up still clean up some of these alders and stuff like that and fill the low spot in with rock and then bring fill in minimize as much fill as we need these old spruce are coming out 
big old hardwoods are staying but it's really shaping up that's for sure I mean it it was a complete forest here when we started but I'll bring you down again I don't think I came right down to the water last time we'll come down and show you the view they're gonna have look at those I think they're called ductiles or something those seabirds but yeah I mean it is uh, it's gonna be a hell of a view for them when it's all said and done nice little lot for a cabin Whew, you can see it's foggy over there nice and cool over there hot as can be in here they've got sort of like a beach going on where they plucked out some rocks but these guys here don't but they will I'm sure eventually but uh, yeah it's a good sized project it's pretty cool to do you know I do do a few of these I don't do a lot because you know when we're in peak season the mulcher is just going non-stop for the uh, for the cell companies but I'm getting a lot of calls for this stuff so huh, I don't know I had to might have to turn a few down I don't like turning work down but can't make it happen with one machine so either I turn work down or I make sure there's enough work for another machine and if there is well then I'll make it happen I've never turned down work in my life I don't want to start anyway we're gonna have a dirty load on this time by the looks of it we're trying to get it all on and it looks like he's doing his best he can do to get it all on there that is a load fellas so as far as that and that piece they can go on the tandem that's it I'm, I'm done I'm done hauling that's it for me all right boys so we got her all on that one load and did not think it was gonna happen but I can tell you we've got a dirty jag of wood on there <laughs> this is the this is the heaviest load we've had so far I can I can just feel it feels slightly heavier than that first load this morning but I mean it still feels awesome it still feels awesome you know I've said many times that this trailer is the best piece of equipment that I've ever bought for the business and it absolutely is this thing is the best piece of gear that I've purchased my excavator has been holding up fantastic all my trucks except for my f-150 held up fantastic but this trailer man this trailer has has gone through the paces and torture like you would not believe it has earned its stripes it has earned its right to retire 1500 times and I just keep pushing it and keep pushing it and keep torturing it and keep torturing it and it just keeps taking it it just keeps taking it like I just broke the bottom bracket off that locks the the bottom one that locks the door on from swinging open because the gate came open as there is actually is a uh, there's my driver because there actually is a uh, pin missing that that keeps that from happening anyway so I have to get that little weld tacked on get that done take 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 five minutes to do but it needs to be done but uh, I'm gonna catch Ingram Port Hill I'm gonna catch the big mamma jamma on the way home with this load and we'll see how this thing does I'm gonna lock out 10th you know as as I've been doing and I'm gonna leave it with nine gears and decide what it's gonna do Pretty confident it's gonna drop down to set uh it's drop down to eighth for sure. We will see if it needs seven. But this is the heaviest load. So we are definitely at 15,000 pounds. We could be above 15,000 pounds now because she is stacked to the top and she is stacked tight. Here we go, here we go. We're going down, we're going down. We're in ninth gear right now. Like I said, I locked out tenth. So we see what the truck's gonna have to do to to hold our speed back. We are starting to pick up a little bit of speed right now, but it's holding back pretty good. Yeah, it's actually doing a really good job. We're holding right at our speed right now. Wow, that was impressive. I've given this uh, engine brake a little bit of a hard time in the past, but that just did really well. So now here we are. We are into the big one, fellas, the big mamma jamma. Let's see how she does. Ninth gear right now. We're not losing any speed yet. 
right up where that white truck is right now that is the steepest part which is happening right now so now we are in the steepest part of the hill we're starting to lose a little bit of speed yeah I think she might drop to eighth it might skip eighth and go yeah straight to seventh so it dropped straight to seventh which is the one to one and now we're speeding up very quickly we're almost to the top of the hill still a little more to go up to eighth like seamless the shifts are seamless almost to the top of the hill and in ninth so now the question is if I didn't lock out ninth and I left it in 10th, would it have gone from 10th to 8th and 8th would have done it? Or would it have gone from 10th to 8th and then to 7th? You know, what would it have done? I'm completely fine with it doing what it did. 7th is the one-to-one -one gear. That's, that's where the power is. That is where the power is. So I'm fine with it going straight to 7th and just climbing its speed back up. I'm sure that if I would have manually shifted that and put it in 8th, Eighth would have would have handled that hill no problem. It would have done it. All right, time to park the girl in the shade. She needs a little breather. Well, she doesn't. But I'm gonna give her one. The trailer is the one that <laughs> it just just keeps going. It just keeps friggin' going. Holy, holy, holy! It's hot. It is not jeans weather. It is like flip flops and underwear weather. <laughs> Unfortunately, you can't do that while you're doing this type of work, but let's go down and take a look here guys at what we got For our final final count I'd say we're at about 12 cord Say we hauled 12 cord today or between yesterday and today This was our last load. This was the biggest load again. I had a hand bomb all that stuff that was here over to there This was the biggest load this was the second biggest load. This was the third biggest load. But yeah, we've got between those four piles, there's definitely 12 cord of wood there. So an average of three cord, three cord per load. And the truck did it with flying colors. The trailer handled it no problem. Now the hardest part is junking, splitting, getting it processed, and ready to be delivered. Most of it is softwood, so it's good for campfires. People will burn it in their stoves, but typically people like to burn hardwood for sure. Softwood is good to burn as long as it's really dry, because uh, wet softwood creates a lot of creosote. You got to clean your chimney so much. But it uh, softwood just doesn't last long. It doesn't last near as long as hardwood. Hey okay, guys, the wind is really picking up. Hopefully the sound is still coming through here. Okay. Uh, first video I think for over a week. It's been it's been wide open work is completely wide open right now but it's weird stuff it's not really stuff that's you know video worthy today I think is I will show you that job when it's all said and done but uh, yeah just another day in the life of, of the Ford power strokes and me anyway guys that's it for now if you like you know what to do until next time take care stay safe and we'll see you then bye